on now. Oh, you're all revved up and ready to go. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what a good night's sleep will do. Uh, do I take credit for that? In part. Side of watching my mother being carted away to jail. <laughs> that had something to do with it. <laughs> I haven't slept that well in years. No, that's just wrong. <sighs> No, no, don't uh, answer that. Do not answer that, please. Sorry, my WS me wench. I'm on call. <laughs> David. Dr. Hayward. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Listen, just, just give me a moment to shower and get some clothes on, okay? Uh -huh. I'll, I'll come by. Okay. David. Sorry, Anna. It's Dixie, isn't it? Look, can we not... Can we not make a big deal out of this, okay? I think I'm being quite reasonable under the circumstances. Yesterday, you gave this very pretty speech about how the newly divorced Dixie is firmly planted in your past and you are moving on. Now, we both know that you're kidding yourself. Oh. I don't understand why you can't just admit it. Oh, come here. Mmm. Mmm. I don't want to do this right now, okay? Listen to me. I'm going to the hospital, I'm going to see Dixie, and then I'll be right back. Now, if you trust me, you'll be here when I return. David, what if I don't trust you? Well, then you can leave. It's your choice. David, in light of the fact that we drove to your cabin in your car, I have no means of transportation. Therefore, I am captive here, so please don't keep me waiting too long. <gasps> Love, Anna. Like any mad doctor's laboratory? No beakers bubbling? No hunchback assistant? Here we go. All right. Let's just see what you've been up to here, Dr. David. Hello, Dixie. Hi. So, do you want to see me? Yes. Thank you so much for coming. It's okay. Is there a problem? Tad, I would like to speak to David alone. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll just, uh, I'll wait in Dad's office. You know, just come and give me a shot when you're ready to go. Okay. If you're concerned about your heart, don't be. I spoke to your cardiologist and... Oh, yeah, I know. I spoke to him, too. He said that I just had to rest right for a few days and then everything would be back to normal. Whatever that is. Okay, so why did you want to see me? I wanted to thank you. You don't have to keep doing that. Well, your research saved my life, so... Well, hopefully, if all the treatments are tested and approved that it'll save other people's lives too so. right about that treatment um that injection that you gave me how safe is that if it saved your life that's a good step that's but it's not my life that i'm worried about david i'm pregnant <laughs> 